Okay, hey Project Lifers, we are back with a another week. I can't tell you what week this is. It's somewhere in the 30s. Um, I somewhere along the line stopped putting weeks and started just putting the dates. Um, so I've lost a little track of where it is. Let's see if I can figure it out real quick. Um, but we are moving ahead. I did. You are gonna notice that I did skip several weeks. Um, my last one that I posted was week 25. Um, I did about a full month almost off camera just to get it caught up um, where I was like writing in my text and like literally just trying to catch up guys. Um, so let's see real quick where I'm at. Okay, so this is week 30 exactly. So the week of July 19th to the 25th. Um, this week has a ton of pictures um, because we were in Kentucky for my son's baseball tournament, but I'm going to be doing a different um, a different spread. So, yes, I did put a lot of pictures actually in here. Um, it does have an insert, um, but there's still a ton more pictures that I will be putting in eventually um, to get this all documented I probably am going to do a little bit of a separate um I don't know like a little maybe a life crafted album or something like that so anyway so here I am just trying to set out all the pictures as you can see I'm doing a bit off screen on accident um but this first it's going to be more of a this that left page is the front there's going to be an insert in between and that is the last of the week i believe is what it comes out to be yep um so it's gonna be a little mumble jumbled but hey it works uh <laughs> you know like i said uh this week started i think we went out down on a tuesday we drove down to kentucky which is about six hours there we go now i got everything on the screen for you it was about a six hour drive i believe to where we were staying in louisville uh, well right outside of louisville we stayed in um elizabeth town is what it, it was um it was my oldest son's one of his first very big week-long tournaments um I know a lot of people do these pretty young, um, but he was older once he got into travel baseball and his team just never did go to like a big tournament like this. So, um, yeah, it was pretty fun. Unfortunately, we lost in the semifinals, so we had a very sad ride home, uh, but all in all, it was a great week for the boys and lots of lessons learned. We also got to go to a water park, which I barely got any pictures from because I forgot like a waterproof case for my phone. And so I just got pictures of us in front of the sign pretty much. And that was about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this spread actually was prob probably one of my more intensive ones. Um, like I said, lots of pictures, lots of trying to figure out where it was, but I was trying to simplify it as much as I possibly could. Um, and not overthink it since, like I said, I want to do a little bit of like a travel album type thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm, we took two trips to about the same spots. We took one trip, like I said, here to Elizabethtown. And then about two weeks later, we ended up going back down to Cincinnati, which is only about two hours outside of this, um, for a little family trip. Um, so maybe those two trips will go together in like a summer summer trips of 2021 or something like that. So, um, pretty fun though. Um, just trying to document all the details. It was the first family vacation here in quite some time since obviously 2020. Um, and then unfortunately my little one had to go back home in the middle of it to do his own baseball tournament. So my parents ended up driving down to Kentucky and meeting us at the water park actually. Um, to pick up my little guy and take him all the way back home so he could be in his own tournament, which was sad. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do sometimes when we have a commitment. So here I am. I'm just going around using a bunch of Studio Calico, I believe. Yeah, I believe these are mostly Studio Calico um, stamps about summer vacation, all that kind of stuff. I'll link them down below. Um, and also this um, baseball stamp from Studio Calico also. Yeah, I believe maybe one of them is a paper person. Maybe that highlights one as a paper person. I can't, you know, I'm not exactly sure, but I think most of them were Studio Calico. Um, all right. So here we are going to start 
working on the insert. Nope, the other page, I think. Let's see where we're going to go here. Yep, I'm going to work on the other side of the insert. So I definitely wanted this big one of him up to bat with the sky above him. I loved that picture. Um, and then a few of him just warming up. And like I said, the pictures of us at the water park. Um, just so that I could get kind of like a day by day thing in here. All right. So I was just lining that up, seeing if that game day was going to fit in there. And I believe I'm just going to use some stays on ink here because I am, yep, there we go. Um, I am stamping straight onto a picture and these pictures I was printing at this point on my selfie. So they are a little bit glossy. Um, but yeah, I love that. And I love, I love that big game day stamp. I use that a lot. Um, definitely one of my favorites. So now just putting things into page protectors. I really didn't go all out on my title card. Um, I should have stamped at least like week or something on it. But again, I was at the point, as you can see, I was putting a lot of pictures in. I was just at the point of trying to get these weeks done. Um, I believe I recorded this. Oh, I recorded this in January of 2022. <laughs> I'm just now getting to edit it. And yeah, this was back in, you know, June, July. And so I'm just trying to power through this. I got real behind on my project life and, you know, things happen, especially during the summer when these boys are playing lots and lots of games. So, um, it happens. It's no big deal. And we move forward. So I believe I just use my highlight stamp right here. I'm guessing that is a paper person stamp. I'm not sure exactly where that one came from. Um, I'll have to look for it and see. Uh, but that just, that looks like a paper person stamp. <laughs> I'm not sure. I've gotten a lot from Studio Calico and paper person. So it's one of those. Um, whenever I have two three by fours, I generally like to put them together with a little bit of washi tape just so that they're not falling out and, you know, um, they're not moving around or you, you can see them. It, it generally keeps them in the pocket a little bit better. So. Now that is a Studio Calico kit or stamps for sure. Um, again, just using that stays on ink. Um, and I put a stays cool like little banner. This day was extremely warm. Even for a water park, it was a warm day. At least it allowed us to enjoy the water park and not be cold. Um, yeah, it was definitely a warm day. So the perfect day for this. And yeah, that didn't stamp very well, as you can see. I don't know what happened and why it didn't stamp. I think I waited too long. Um, is what I've seen as you've seen there. I waited a little bit. I didn't stamp it right away. So we were going to try again. It doesn't exactly stamp the best the second time either, but it does a much better job at least. There we go. And that's pretty much all the embellishing that I was going to do there too. I definitely was trying to just keep it simple and to the point. I also am leaving journaling until the end. Um, like I said, I was doing several spreads at one time when I was recording this. And so not too bogged down on journaling um, because I did have this trip and several of these weeks very documented in my bullet journal. Um, I knew the journaling was fine and I didn't need to get down. I was already, what, five months past this point anyways. Um, so I just knew that I didn't need to um, you know, focus on the journaling. I just needed to get these in the pockets and, um, embellished and that I could come back when everything was done and, um, do all of the journaling. Plus I really wanted to type it all out since I did have a lot to talk about and stopping to type it out and to print and get all the pictures all, you know, or to get the printing perfect was just, I knew would bog me down a bit. And eventually I would just be like, you know, why are we, you know, why am I going still? Um, so yeah, I just was like, no, we're just going to, 
we're just going to do that all at the end. So here I am. I'm looking for a label that is going to fit this stamp because I thought it would honestly get lost on this picture. Um, I don't know if I end up. You can see. No, I think I do. Oh, yes, I use a tag because um, I just thought it would get lost. I didn't think that you would be able to see it that well. So this stamp, I love the stamp. It says like, it's about pitching. It's like a uh, curveball, fastball type thing. And this is my son in their... Um, bullpen and coming up to pitch in the game that was coming up um, and it was a pretty cool picture of him so um, definitely wanted to do that I think he was pitching in the second to last game I can't remember exactly again like I said I have it pretty well documented in my bullet journal so I'll be able to go back if I haven't already I can't remember if I actually ended up going back and journaling or not but um, that will be the last thing before I put this 2021 journal away in, in which I am on not far past this, a couple of weeks past that. <laughs> I think I am to the beginning of September now in 2021's Project Life. So keep on watching. I'm going to be um, pushing out a few of these videos here in the next week or so. And I would love if you just give me a thumbs up or if you are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button as I would love to see you guys back. Talk to you soon. Bye.